we look forward to tip off is at seven. Uh, and then, of course, as we get geared up for uh, this season, just coming from the media today, uh, to me that signals that basketball season is is really officially here. And so we're looking forward to uh, here in the next three weeks. I think it's three weeks from tomorrow we actually open up against uh, Sanford. In between, we'll have some uh, exhibition uh, games, uh, and they're starting with the red-white game tomorrow. Okay, uh, in terms of team and some of the guys on our team, Orlando Cook, uh, his suspension has been lifted in terms of team activities and practice. He'll be able to do that. Uh, still is suspended from playing in games. Uh, and so that's moving forward. He's started practice yesterday. And so and I'm comfortable with that as we continue to get facts rolling in on uh, what is taking place. And, of course, he's still suspended from playing. And, uh, and that won't be determined until, obviously, the, the, the case that's against him until that hopefully is resolved. Uh, and, of course, Khalil continues to uh, uh, not practice at this point in time, the competition part of it, still participating in, in some of the things that we do. And, uh, but everybody else is, is uh, full, ready to go forward and uh, looking forward to, like I say, getting out in front of the fans. Uh, we have some officials coming in, some of the SEC officials. Got popcorn popping. You got fans in the stands. Now I want to see how not only our seniors and underclassmen kind of react, but also the freshmen. It, this is a to me, it's a learning process from those guys. We've had some scrimmages where we brought in some officials. The first one didn't go very well, probably about a week and a half ago. Then we had one earlier this week, and it went a lot better. So I'm anxious to see how these guys, you know, can can bring some of the things that we've been working on. Uh, to the floor tomorrow and have fun in this particular game. What, uh, I guess, what were the conversations like with Orlando to get you to the point where you felt like, where you felt comfortable with letting you practice? Well, it's not necessarily just a conversation. I think as, you know, you're starting getting information, you know, I didn't have, I went privy to a lot of that early on, and so we're getting some of the the information, and so uh, that led to possibly, and not only that, he's been out for seven, you, you think about seven weeks. Yeah, that's a long time, you know, away from your team. So, uh, so part of that suspension, uh, him being away, and uh, at the same time, I, I think you know uh, what has taken place. I'm sure he's remorseful for it, and uh, and, and hopefully he can get an opportunity to move forward uh, as well as his team. How'd you get the team split? Up? Uh, yeah, we got him split up. I think Dave will have that for you guys. Uh, I think he got a pretty balanced, you know, split up right now. We've got. Uh, six guys on each team with two walk-ons. So that means seven guys on the team. So, uh, and these guys are very, very competitive. Uh, I think our practice have been uh, been very, very interesting. You know, uh, I think we had a scrimmage the other night, and one team ended up really uh, having one of those great runs where they went up like a twenty to two run and ended up winning by fifteen. Uh, but that's, that's kind of rare. The rest of the games in, in, in practice have been very, very competitive. So, and I, that's a good sign. Uh, the young guys are pushing the older guys, and and obviously the older guys are schooling the young guys at times. So, uh, so that to me is what we want to see. We want to continue to work defensively. I, I said it, you know, at media today. I, I want our team to be uh, one that's known defensively, just really getting out the people. Uh, pressuring people, whether it be in half court, full court. And so we've got to learn the, the little rotation, the little nuances of, of defense. And, and not only that, we've got to do it from the start, the middle, and finish. And then offensively, just kind of continue to get familiar with one another. Uh, be a team that's going to uh, have that depth. And that's what we're working on, creating that depth. Uh, we know that, you know, from the standpoint of guys coming back, you got six seniors. And these six seniors, they, they weren't just here, they played. They were very instrumental in what took place. So uh, having that being said, obviously coming into this year, they, they can uh, take the lead. And the more leaders you have on a, a team, the better off your team's going to be. Last time we got to talk to you, you mentioned Adrian. There's somebody who really stood out. It's been a few weeks. Has anybody else jumped out at you in practice? Well, I think Adriel continues to, to, to get better. I think CJ, uh, I think he continues to take steps uh, forward. Uh, you know, uh, I'm really, you know, impressed right now with the consistency that Anton has brought to practice each and every day. Uh, I think Daryl is one of those guys that, you know, uh, you know, take plays off. But now he's making a conscientious effort of, 
a conscientious effort of, of not taking those plays off, and that's what you want to see in, in practice. Uh, uh, Daniel, as I said, you know, there are days when he looks like the best player out there, and there are days when he looks like not the best player out there. And uh, but you can see the the potential there. Uh, I, one guy that really kind of every day to me now is starting to stand out is Darius Hall. Uh, his versatility, uh, his toughness, uh, his athletic ability, uh, his determination. I think each and every day he's picking up on some of the, the things that we we really embrace and talk about. Uh, he's playing defensively, instinctively, uh, rebounding the basketball. He's a really tremendous rebounder for his size. For you to be happy at the end of tomorrow's scrimmage, what do you want to see? I want to see no one get hurt, first of all. That's the best, most important thing in, in a red-white white scrimmage. You, uh, I want to go out and have fun. I want to see uh, a little resemblance of some of the things we've been working on, uh, a team that can uh, not only just shoot the basketball but can create create for others, uh, rebound the basketball. Uh, again, I want it to be a fun day. And we've been really working, really grinding hard, uh, just getting after it. Uh, so I want to go out and have some fun because as you just – uh, this will be probably the last public uh, scrimmage they'll have where they're going against each other. Then you can't play everybody, so they're going to get a whole lot of playing time. And uh, let's see what they go out and do. But I want them more, more to go have fun. This, to me, is more for the fans here. They get a chance to get a glimpse of the, the, thing, the people you guys have been reporting about, uh, the Daniel Gaffer, the Darius Hall, uh, seeing if Daryl making his really improve uh, – uh, Jalen Barfoot. Uh, they'll get a chance to see the uh, kid that's sitting out this year, Jalen Harris. You know, a young man that transferred into New Mexico. You get a chance to to see him. Uh, Dustin Thomas, a fifth-year guy. Trey Thompson. Uh, Trey's got to step into a bigger role this year. We've seen his evolution each and every year. Now you get a chance to see him be that guy. And uh, so, so, so again, there's a lot of. A lot of question marks, but then there's a lot of opportunities for some of these guys to, to showcase what they're capable of doing. Coach, coming out of SEC Media Days, you guys picked to kind of finish middle of the pack, nobody on first or second teams. Your thoughts, any chips on your shoulder with because of that? I probably got a mountain on my shoulder now. It used to be a log, now it's a mountain. But more, you, you know, I, every year I say, you know, those polls are somebody else's opinion. You know, everybody's got an opinion. And, you know, I, I know what we have, uh, you know, out there on that floor in that locker room. Uh, a team that uh, was picked last year was picked way below, and, and we finished. We were one of the hotter teams playing going down the stretch. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's not even where you start. To me, it, everybody starts zero zero. It's where you finish and how you finish, and I think that's the most important thing. And, and I know guys get tired of hearing that, but I was my wife's first choice. I was probably her fifth choice. So, <laughs> so it, it turned out pretty good. So, I, as I Look for th- this team here, and uh, you can hear it in my voice. I'm I'm super excited about it, and I'm just it ain't coach speak. This is because I've had a chance to to be around these guys. We purposely recruited guys coming in here, and and uh, and hopefully they get a chance to be the perfect storm. Can you talk about how well recruiting's gone? It's, it's amazing. It's like it's in cycles, man. It cycles. Uh, I can remember, you know, Memphis was the hotbed, and to me now, since I've had an opportunity to come back here, there's been uh, quite a bit of talent here in Arkansas, and we see it on display with our basketball team. And these guys are coming in, and uh, they're making their their state, they're making their cities where they're from, and they're making them real proud. And they're really good basketball players. And they're not just the best players in the state; they're some of the best players in the country. And uh, and I think we're seeing it in the in the classes that we have, the class that we have on campus right now. You know, uh, obviously the rankings is what everybody, again, somebody's opinion. They'll get a chance to prove that. And, uh, and hopefully uh, we'll have an even better one in, in, the, in the upcoming year. So uh, I think we got some guys that are out there really uh, uh, busting their tails in the recruiting department, uh, uh, just trying to bring in the best fit, guys that fit what we're doing. Coach, do you have a comment on Bobby Portis, uh, his suspension, kind of what he's going through right now? I haven't had a chance to talk to Bobby. I texted him, uh, but I just know Bobby's character. I know what type of person he is. And for something of that nature to uh, to evolve, uh, something had to provoke him. Something had to. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm, it's unfortunate on both sides, you know, Bobby and uh, the young man that got, uh, got hit. You know, but we know and being around – in a, in a competitive setting, you know, a lot of sometimes tempers tempers flare up, and uh, but 
but obviously, like I said, we just hope that it, it gets resolved. I, I can't comment on it. I know Bobby Portis. I know his makeup, character, guy that does the right thing, guy that will give you his last dime, the ultimate team player. Uh, obviously, to me, one of the things that I really admire about Bobby, he wants to be a tremendous, he wants to be a great player. I mean, he thinks he's just as good as some of the players up there in that league. There's some great players up in the league. But he's always working. He's always working. He's always grinding. And so uh, so it was, it was kind of surprising to me to hear what took place. But, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm sure it's not the first time someone's got a scrap, you know, uh, in a practice. You mentioned, you mentioned Trey earlier. How important is he to how you want to play offensively? The moving, the cutting, just his passing, what he brings to the table? Uh, Trey's a very intelligent basketball player. I think his, bas- his basketball IQ is so important. I mean, he's like a coach out on the floor. And so uh, I really believe I think Trey's going to end up being one of our leaders on our basketball team. Uh, having, you know, he, He's won at every level. He's won at uh, the high school level. Uh, and, and you look at you know the teams that we have that are one big here. He's been a part of them, and so now it's his time to step into that role. And and, and I hear him every day, really encouraging the younger guys and even the older guys, getting on them. So uh, I, I think it's important, you know, when you got that, that skill that can do those type of things, you can rebound the basketball. He's a tremendous screener, and uh, like I said, he's like a coach on the floor. So for me, that, that's huge. You know, I can. I can say something, and he can say it out there and it has a lot more meaning because he's out there on the floor with those guys.